uh, apart from that, we, uh, the, uh, the total set of externals we are going to have the battery test system, battery emulators, and then the controllers, the controller systems as such. All these would be uh, you know, possible to test with. Can you just tell us about uh, you uh, and what you are doing at ARI? Yeah. Hello, I am uh, Nitin Dande. I am head of the business development and corporate planning at ARI. Basically, in this uh, auto expo, we are projecting ARI capabilities and right its uh, its journey from its inception. Uh, we are going to have some kind of a projection of those capabilities. Okay. So, if you could see, the ARI is established in 1966. So that means that uh, it has already completed 50 years uh, in 2016. So, in all these 50 years, it was basically engaged in the various automotive uh, testing and development aspects or the R&D aspects and which are working on the various technical domains. These technical domains which includes right from, uh, right from the basic uh, uh, emissions, then the safety, power train engineering, that is the engine design and development, uh, then the structural dynamics domain, then the NVHCA domain, component testing, safety, as well as uh, on, the, on the transmission, vehicle evaluation, Apart from that, in uh, homologation and management, that is the basic uh, uh, certification service as such. So all different domains are being um, for which are the are covered by ARI under the services. Apart from that, ARI has got the center of excellence in uh, powertrain, fatigue and materials, and recently uh, we have got uh, established a new center of excellence in e-mobility as well. On the e-mobility front. We are now, uh, we are finally, we are, we are working on the establishing of the center of excellence for the e-mobility. And under this e-mobility, again, we are going to have the test facilities uh, okay. for testing out the motor test beds as such, I mean, for the motors, electric motors, up to 150 kilowatt, 250 kilowatt, and also the small motors also. Then we are also going to have uh, two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler chassis dynamometer testing for this, for those electric vehicle testing. Then we are going to have electric buses kind of thing for HCV for which the HCV chassis dynamometer will be used. And then of course the, we are going to have the checking of the construction and functional safety related with the electric mobility as such. Then apart from that, we, in, the, in the total center of excellence we are going to have the battery test systems, battery emulators and then the controllers, the controller systems as such. I All see. these would be you know, possible to test it as well as we are our expertise. Uh, in working on this particular domain, we are going to offer the consultancy services also for various our customers who would be requiring the knowledge about the uh, e-mobility. One of these the one would be the charging station, say for example, where people would be requiring our thing or EMI or EMC related meeting those norms also which are coming up for which also consultancy is required. So those would be capable, our teams would be in a position to provide the consultancy. Again here, one of the requirement would be a typical simulation facility. So before the vehicle is taken up for production, again uh, in order to work out on the typical sizing of the vehicle, on the electrical ratings in the components wise, uh -huh. we are in a position to provide you the services, provide the customers the services of a simulation platform. So where those wow. simulation platforms would be deciding the ratings of the, uh, in the different components of the electric vehicle, and then uh, be, uh, depending upon the sizing and rating of this one, a for a form a simulated vehicle would be formed on the simulation platform, and which can be then subsequently tested for its range and performance also on wow. the again simulation platform, okay. and which then can be demonstrated to the customer for his uh, you know requirement fulfilling or not so from that aspect then he can take up that you know, those particular uh, those particular component for taking up further for the production also that sounds really fantastic especially i think we, you know the real time simulator that part sounds really interesting because that will save a lot of money in actually that's making true. it and then fixing the problem that's true that's true correct yeah. This is basically the uh, overall uh, e-mobility uh, center of excellence, the covering of those capabilities as such, and we are just putting up those in a formulated way. Great. And here also in Auto Expo, we have received a maximum response on the electric mobility again as expected. Fantastic. Now Fantastic. My, uh, my colleague Manoj will be just coming on this retrofitment. Yeah, so you know, uh, this, uh, what you just mentioned here, what we are seeing here sounds really exciting, especially the simulator as I, as I mentioned, this is totally like, you know, state of the art uh, facility. Uh, coming to the electric vehicles, uh, I think uh, we are going to see some unique challenges that are specific to electric vehicles that we have not seen for petrol uh, or diesel vehicles before. So, uh, how ARI is, uh, you know, taking steps to handle those challenges? Okay. 
So we are helping manufacturers with our facility for type of roll-up, say for battery. We have cell level test facilities, we have pack level test facilities, we have charger test facilities, we have complete EV test facilities. So we are helping them to understand what is the type of roll procedure and helping them to uh, complete the type of roll procedure. And coming to retrofitment, the older vehicles which are there on the road, those also needs to be converted to hybrid or electric to reduce the pollution. Right. So we have three standards, AIS 1, 2, 3, Part 1, 2 and 3. So this allows to convert uh, cars, buses or rickshaws, you can convert it to hybrid keeping the existing powertrain or okay. you can remove the uh, existing powertrain and convert it to pure electric. So here I can provide type approval services for such retrofitment kits where the user then after type approval they can uh, retrofit the older so vehicles. Can you just tell us a little bit more about what is the process of retrofitment, you know, if someone wants to use a retrofit car, yeah. what are the process they have to go through? So first of all, uh, the kit manufacturer has to take a type of role as per AIS 1 to 3 standards. So the kit can be for conversion of hybrid, means uh, the car can be converted to hybrid keeping the same existing powertrain or it can be converted to pure electric. So the the end user, if we want to retrofit his vehicle, he has to look for whether it is a type of road kit and the, whether the dealer is authorized by the kit manufacturer to fit the kit. Okay. And then they can uh, submit their vehicle, the vehicle will be converted to electric or hybrid and it has to go to the regional transport department for re-registration since I you see. are changing the power tank. Yeah. Okay. So what is the process of getting a type approval for the kit if I am the kit manufacturer? Okay, so normally what we have observed the kit manufacturers, they are uh, technology people, they are working on batteries, motors, controllers and wiring harness. Right. So uh, they have to go for kit level testing as an individual component like motor, inverter will be tested, battery will be tested, wiring harness will be tested uh -huh. and then they have to submit uh, one vehicle after the conversion to us and okay. then there will be test on the vehicle level. Okay. So if they meet both the requirements as a kit, as a component, as well as as a vehicle, then we give the type of role, uh, certificate to them. I yeah. see. Okay. And usually how long does it take typically for the complete approval process? to? So the component it? approval and the vehicle approval, uh, two to three months will be required for completing all the tests. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.